So let's talk a little more about watering and irrigation in the hoop house. As we said, there's no rain coming in and it tends to be very hot. So the water need is extreme. In the spring, like now, I have to water every day. Ultimately, we're going to put an in-ground drip system into the hoop house. But we're still learning our systems and perfecting the art and learning just how much water we need and when. So for now, we're still using hand watering techniques. Right now, I'm going to show you basic hand watering. And the thing to keep in mind is that different plants have the ability to withstand the abusive force of water differently. So these here, these uh, Chinese, excuse me, red cabbages, they're so well rooted that they don't, they can handle being plastered with water. These little ones as well are doing fine. And these plants can be just spot watered as necessary. However, some of the tinier things, some of the little bitty flower or onion or brassicas, we might want to use a little more care so we're not squishing the leaves and mudding down the plants. Here you can see the lettuces that have just been planted. I'm wanting to soak their ground a lot more than the plants that are already going because the transplants have a severe water need. Later on, I'm going to show you how to water with a hose and a wand. But for hand watering, you just want to be a Johnny on the spot and be around the hoop house and noticing the water emergencies just before they happen. You'll be surprised how quickly the hoop house dries out. 